passage, as Linda um, referred to, is this lovely scene that Mark tells. Remember, Mark's the earliest gospel, and then Matthew and Luke come along and dress it up a bit and change it a bit. In Mark, it's a simpler story. This man is brought to the feet of Jesus on a mat. It's like a poor person's bed. Um, you know, we think about the very first people who followed Jesus were probably kind of subsistence peasants. They were under Roman occupation. You know, they had to pay heavy taxes. Often they lost their land, and then they were kind of indentured servants. So they lived a really much more meager life than we're used to, and not totally unlocked unlike some of the villages that you would still find kind of in the West Bank and Palestine today. So hear God's word in these words. When Jesus returned to Capernaum after some days, it was reported that he was at home. So many gathered around that there was no longer room for them, not even in front of the door, and Jesus was speaking the word to them. Then some people came, bringing to him a paralyzed man carried by four of them. And when they could not bring him to Jesus because of the crowd, they removed the roof, or unroofed the roof above him. And after having dug through it, they let down the mat on which the paralytic lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, son, or the Greek is actually child. It's kind of a, it's a term of endearment. Child, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there questioning their hearts. Why does this fellow speak in this way? It is blasphemy. Who can forgive sins but God alone? At once Jesus perceived in the spirit that they, in his spirit, that they were discussing these questions among themselves. And he said to them, why do you raise such questions in your hearts? Which is easier, to say to the paralytic, your sins are forgiven, or to say, stand up and take your mat and walk? But so you may now know that the Son of Man, the human one, this new title for Jesus, has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the paralytic, I say to you, stand up, rise up, literally, take your mat and go to your home. And the man stood up and immediately took the mat and went out before all of them so that they were all amazed and glorified God saying, we have never seen anything like this. 